dye the flight thread so this is the sash coloured silk you could use normally normal thread it's up to yourself a uni or so or do it just as well now i'm just sticking to traditional so you can see what i'm doing the first thing then i've obviously waxed the thread just run the wax through and i'm taking the thread to the bend just to the point where it starts to bend round and then make sure you've got wax on your thread at this point and you bring it up like a like a tag length maybe around about a mil and a half now what the, the body of this fly is a a little furnace yeah you're looking for a black centre and this is a hen so what I've done here I'm just going to lose a larger feather what I'm going to do here is this is going to be basically the rib of the fly you're not going to use the, the whole hackle well you can use it as a palmer if you want but if you want to use it as a black uh, as a rib what you would do or what I'm going to do anyway is trim away from about maybe uh, a, mil, a mil and a half from the stem as you'll see there I've trimmed away the fibres, long fibres so that then that becomes a more a hero than than anything. I'm just going to reduce it just a bit more. A nice sharp pair of scissors when you're doing this. Once you've done that, I'm just going to tear back some of these fibres. I don't need these. Get my hackle pliers. Hold the tip of the feather there. Just draw back these fibres so that I can tie it in and trim catch this on two or three turns at this point I'm just going to trim away some of these fine fibres just so it's slightly tapered gives you a better idea of what you've got now you could do this once you wound the hackle up you could trim it away to suit yourself uh, there's two or three ways you could tie the fly now for the the body I'm using a traditional silk, orange silk, this one here, this is the Marabou silk, piercels. Now again you could use whatever silk thread you have, you could even use a thread, but you do want a good body in this. So I'm going to tie this in, and the way up. So we catch it on. And basically wind your thread up, tying it in. Nice and tight. The thread is waxed so there's plenty of grip there. Then we basically do our body with the floss. Just work your way up. And take a nice taper in it. Cross my thread. Right, at least three turns to try it, tie it in, trim away. Then we bring our or cut hackle up the body. Now basically what I'm doing here is like if I was winding a hackle up the body I'm, the front of the hackle is facing towards the eye and then rubbing the flies we wind up and drawing back these fibres. The stem's nice and tight this will give you a rib it's nice and strong all the way up happy there, we can then trim away three or four turns, trim your hackle away. Any long hackle fibres there, it's just tied too long, we can trim them at this point. Just turning the, hack, the, the vice, having a look, always take these back. Yeah. Looks okay. When you see the orange through it, we still want that. There's quite a thick body in these flies. Now, for the wing, I'm going to be using some uh, the woodcock. This is a woodcock feather here. Now, this is this is a secondary feather from the the wing of the woodcock. I need a right and a left side so to form the wing. Now, I'm going to put the wing on first and the hackle on last. Now, you can do it the other way. Uh, but this fly I found it really works well with the hackle in front so what we need is a slip from either side and don't be shy with it because it's quite a fine fibre the, the woodcock now what I'm doing here is bringing out enough 
to form the wing and it's a good size wing so I'm just going to pull it slightly 90 degrees from the stem to shorten the taper so I don't want it too long it's a wee bit shorter than that there we are. when you're happy you can tear it away do the same on the other side and it's a very soft fibre you do not want to stick these fibres together you want to keep them natural they will not look the same once they start to fish they'll start to obviously sort of blend together but it'll still give a good impression of the wing both in colour and length so so don't worry about it it's got to swim with the fly so but then that's the wing ready for this side so I tear it away and basically what I do is lay it on top of my finger get the other one this is your side and we lay that on top of my finger flat and with the underside at the bottom so just what I'm doing here is just take my time slightly turn it off helps to these be fine curly parts helps helps to keep them together it means you can work with it slightly quite a light fingered when you're doing this and patient so when we're happy with it obviously the tip's been lined up it's going to I'm going to fold this roof like over the top and I want the length of the wing to come to the back of the hook so then what I do is finger thumb fold these down get them as close to the shank or on top of the shank and then pinch and loop straight away one two then a wee quick look at the wing as I say don't worry about the what do you call it slightly coming apart because it's a very fine fibre uh, once you start to cast this it'll start to sort of separate but obviously you want it to start off reasonably good now I'm happy with that so fine pair of scissors come in these are just a fine curl, uh, curved pair that I have wax your thread obviously missed one here and we can tidy this area up uh, just take this away now use the furnace for the the body these are just cheap hackles I have and I'm going to tie this in by the tip so we get the best of the colour as well as it's been a hen hackle tight normally this is what you do you tie a hen hackle in by the tip the cock hackle at the base of the, th the, the hackle itself the stem now what I'm doing here is pulling back fibres I need trim away enough obviously so you can catch it in I'll trim away the tip anyway and it's here take it out of the way then come down with the wax thread you know, take my finger out, I'll use my hackle pliers here and then we just grind the hackle now don't be shy with the hackle in this fly, it's a big, it's a big fly and what we do is then just nice straight turns I'm just going to use up the whole, the whole hackle and do enough once we're happy and I'm happy now I follow up with the thread 90 degree bend into the stem of the feather allows the thread to get right into the stem without trapping fibres two or three turns to hold trim away just wax your thread and then tidy the head area up and don't be shy with the head there's a big fly keeping the thread tight and they can straighten it about finish one two three and there we are and then trim away obviously that's a, a traditional style wet fly 
it's a nice pattern. You can obviously, obviously tie this to suit yourself with the, the materials you have. Uh, I've used ostrich herald dyed black in the body, even peacock herald dyed black. Now all I have to do is just a wee touch of varnish onto the head, all the way around, just to seal it. Now that's your downhill fly, or the oak fly, a lot of people recognise the name by that. Uh, this is a traditional one, this one here is from the Alf, uh, Alfred Ronald's book, and if I remember right it's number 21. So anyway, nice pattern, good old style, lovely fly to tie, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed the videos, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.